Today we are in one of my favorite places I could ever be, in a race shop. There's a lot of cool cars and a lot of top-notch equipment, but this is run by someone a little different. This is run by students, and because I have never been here before and I need a tour, I tried to find the best tour guide I could find, and I guess it's him. Yeah, this is actually where I went to school and graduated from the University of Northwestern Ohio. This is my favorite place on earth, and there's a ton of stuff to see and do, so where do you want to start? I don't know, you're the, you're the tour guide. All right, I got an idea, let's go. UNOH has a clear goal, helping you turn your passion into a career. With 50 degree programs across five colleges, there's several fields of study you'd expect from most universities, like accounting, business administration, healthcare, and agriculture. But unlike most universities, UNOH offers degrees in subjects that any gearhead would love to study. Automotive and diesel technology, automotive high performance motorsports and motorsports marketing, along with cutting edge technology such as alternate fuels and robotics and automation. To maximize the learning process, most classes are limited to 25 students or fewer. Instructors are always there for you. Uh, the class sizes are very small, so they're always there if you need help with anything. I mean, being able to have those, those people there for you and to be able to teach you one-on-one -on -one and guide you through those steps, uh, it's definitely cool. It's a great experience, and you can get a lot of knowledge through it. Instructors are, you know, they're fantastic. Like, they take that time to teach you how things work, and they always try to help you out, so. If you were into trucks and cars in high school, you were probably part of a fairly small crew. Not so at UNOH. Here, a diverse group of gearheads from all 50 states and 73 countries have gathered to devote themselves to all things automotive. You're always working on something that you will see in the real world, whether it be in the shop on passenger vehicles or in the race shop working on race cars. It's the same thing you have at the track. It's the same thing you have in the shop. It's amazing. Whether you have years of experience or none at all, it doesn't matter. All you need is a love for automotive technology and a desire to learn. We start so it's at the simplest terms and work our way up there. So at the end of the day, you know, everybody's at the same level. When you graduate here, you're not going to have any less knowledge than the guy that started that's been working on cars since he was six years old. Automotive is the basis where it starts at, and then you move to the high performance, making cars go fast, loving the, loving the energy. The core automotive classes lay the foundation for motorsports, alternate fuels, and other upper-level courses. Here, students learn the fundamentals. We do everything you can think of, starting from oil changes to working on like electrical systems, and I really like that, and automatic and manual transmissions. I myself teach automotive engine diagnosis and repairs, where we talk about the engine mechanical stuff how the pieces and parts work together, how to diagnose internal engine component problems, and how to do like engine overhauls and rebuilds. I also teach automotive engine performance, where we talk about the drivability, how spark ignition, fuel injection, how all that stuff affects emissions, the fuel economy and performance of the engine. Electrical and electronics courses are part of the automotive program. And if you want to pursue those studies further, UNOH offers an EV curriculum, which gets you on the ground floor of an ever-growing field. So in my opinion, the EV stuff is easier to work on than the internal combustion engine. There's a lot less moving parts. Now they do have to understand the electrical side of things. That mindset that you have to have to get into that electrical troubleshooting tends to be the opposite of the mindset that our students come in with. But that's my job is to get them over that hump. And once they get it, it really is easier than all this internal combustion stuff. As soon as I heard about the EV program, I was I knew I had to join it because you no, know, I really knew that I liked the electric part of it and I wanted to give that a try and see how that works out for me. Yeah, I think eventually uh, the EV is going to take over the high performance motorsports world. It, the instant torque, you just can't beat it. The program is going to do nothing but grow as the EVs hit the road and as they become more readily available. The alternate fuels program also looks to the future teaching students to work with cleaner power sources such as natural gas, propane, hybrid engines, and hydrogen. We asked students and instructors for their advice, and whether their passion is carbureted race engines or electrical drivetrains, they all said the same thing, get involved. I would get involved, ask questions. The best thing you can do in class is sit up front and ask questions. Get involved, ask questions, do as much stuff as you can. Utilize every tool that you have here. Get involved in the clubs, get involved in the teams, uh, talk to your instructors, ask for more knowledge. 
have fun. Like, go out and do stuff. Like, go join the motorsports team, go racing. Go racing with your buddies. Up next, at UNOH, you can gain hands-on experience in the shop and the racetrack. Today, we're in Lima, visiting the University of Northwestern Ohio. We've made our way to the high performance department where they teach our favorite subjects, engine machining and engine building. Engine machining class is, I would say, roughly 90% hands-on in the shop. So it's a ton of, they are on the machines. They are touching them, they're operating them. They're not just watching me. I give them a demo, here's how you do it and then they have to do the task. It's more of a non-traditional way of learning. It's not all about the books. I mean, we spend a lot of time in books and there's a lot of math involved in what I teach back here and everything. But we're really where the rubber meets the road is when we put them out in the shop and get them, and get them working on the equipment themselves because that is where the, the real learning is. It's a big part. I mean, the teacher's right there helping you and it's showing you exactly how, exactly how something works not just by a little camera or by a video or somebody telling you, it's actually how it moves and how it maneuvers and how it works. And this school has an amazing balance of both. Um, you spend countless hours in the shop, but you're also deep enough into the books that you know what you're doing. From crankshaft balancers, flow benches, chassis and engine dynos, to welding, chassis and body fabrication, and suspension setup for all types of racing, no matter what your passion is, you'll gain real world experience. I always said that if I had a chance to go back to school, this is where I would want to go. And if you want to do anything in the high performance world, this is where you need to go. Modern engines make more and more power. Electric motors put out massive instantaneous torque, making strong, well-designed drive lanes even more crucial. People, everybody wants to make power, they want to make the sexy part. They want to be like, oh, look at the big numbers on the dyno. But they completely forget that power has to get to the ground somehow. And torque will always find the weakest link. So you have to build it up through there. You have to do it safely and you actually have to get power to the ground. Sometimes neglected, the choice of gear ratio matters too. But if you can only afford to make 350, if you gear it correctly, you can still have a fast car and a fast 350 horsepower car is way better than a thousand horsepower car that doesn't run. Students aren't just getting hands-on experience in the classroom. All the clubs and the motorsports team are student run. They build and maintain vehicles and even get to race them on the school's racing teams. What really hooks me with racing is just the adrenaline rush, like being at the track, all these drivers around you, you're competing to win the big prize or whatever it is that night, and it's just awesome to be in that atmosphere. And being able to go to the track on the weekends and being able to spend time with your, like, people that now have became family on the team, it's, it's pretty awesome. We're all still learning. None of us know everything. So being around everyone from different backgrounds, from different types of racing styles, you're always constantly learning. The thing I love the most is when a student comes to the university, applies to the motorsports team, gets on the motorsports team. By the time they've gone through a couple seasons on the motorsports team, they graduate, they get a career in what they're passionate about. They come back and it makes me feel really good about what we're doing with it. Motorsports team is run just like a professional race team where there are certain people in charge of the cars, there are certain people in charge of the shop time at the, in the facility, and there's team managers. All of that is mandated and controlled by the students. I've had a lot of students graduate, get on professional teams and come back and say, Higgins, the way you run that team is just like they do in the real world. And I say, well, that's my goal. <laughs> The Financial Aid and Career Services Department at UNOH provides support, helping students fund their education and find meaningful work in their chosen career after graduation. As part of this commitment, the university develops relationships within the automotive industry. We were fortunate to present scholarship funds on behalf of Seafoam, a company dedicated to the future of the automotive industry. You know, when I went to school here, scholarship funds were a huge part of that, and a lot of students feel that way. So it's my honor to present to you this check for $20,000 to be used for scholarship funds from Power Nation and Seafoam. And I know you guys are going to put this to great use. Yes, we will. I want to thank Power Nation and Seafoam for the uh, scholarship donation. I'm sure the students will appreciate it, and uh, thank all of you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. You've seen just a sample of the opportunities available at UNOH. Whatever career path you wish to forge, they can help. Come to orientation, you'll love it, I guarantee it. Then school, do as much as you're willing to put in. 
My wife tells our friends that, that I never have a problem getting up and going to work because I love to go to work. We're all having a good time together learning and teaching. Come here, get some education, go out and achieve your goal, that passion that you have. Go get a career in it and be successful. That is our goal. If you want to see more of this or more cool stuff, go check out our website.